Red Bull Racing entered Formula One at the beginning of 2005 and uh, in a relatively short space of time we've gone on to win six world championships being three drivers championships with Sebastian Vettel, uh, three constructors championships in which we've won 34 Grand Prix and had uh, 80 podium finishes so it's been a remarkable amount of success in a short space of time. We've been partners with Siemens PLN since 2005 and over that time we've definitely worked together and grown together. Uh, the partnership now is very much based on trust and understanding. We've got quite a complex environment here, we're developing a complex product and we have some quite unique challenges in Formula One. And so it's great that Siemens PLM and, and the, the consultants that we use on site and the service that we get, the, the business understands those challenges and can help us develop the, uh, the tools to, to meet them. Siemens PLM and the, the PLM tools that we have here really do help us push more change through the business. When we have a finite amount of time and people that work here, it's important that we can iterate more quickly, we can develop products in a virtual environment. So whilst the business demands and the business challenges demand that we develop in a virtual environment so that we can push lots of iteration through before we commit to manufacture, the byproduct for that is it, it's actually quite an efficient way to work. You know, we, we commit to manufacture when we're absolutely ready with the particular design that we want. And that saves us time, that saves us money. Formula One is a constant development and evolution process. And uh, obviously we, we rely very heavily on uh, design and that's where design partners such as Siemens PLM are crucial for us in terms of turning around designs quickly and getting them implemented onto the car you know, for each coming Grand Prix. We use a broad spectrum of the Siemens PLM product suite. We start with Team Center, which is effectively our PLM backbone, and that cascades right throughout the entire business, uh, providing a single source of data for all departments downstream of engineering and design. When we start off in design, we use all of the NX CAD tools. Um, we also use those for simulation, analysis, motion, assemblies, drafting, all those standard engineering things, but then we take that CAD data and we use the NX CAM suite to program all of our NC machines. And that's pervasive throughout our entire business, so from design through R&D, through stress and FEA, through to manufacturing, and ultimately to some of the end users, which are our buying department and our engineers that take it to the track. So um, it really just cascade right through the business. The life cycle for us is really, really controlled by when we need to get parts to the track for each event. Um, and so having an integrated tool where we can take our CAD data and share that with all the downstream departments and work to the same source of data is really important for us to be able to do as much development as we want in the available time. So having a single source of truth, which for us is the bill of materials of the car, held within Team Center, in which then every downstream department access that same data. It means we're all, we're all confident that we're building the right car for the right event with the right components. Effectively, we're continuous improvement experts. So what we do in terms of developing the car, we also need to do to develop our pit crew, to develop the strategy, to develop our entire process, the way the business operates. And so behind the scenes, we're able to send more data to the track. We're able to send richer information from the PLM tools to provide 3D and 2D CAD data to the mechanics that are building the car. It gives them better access and better information to know how a part will be added to the car. Um, because often, the first time the guys at the track see new components will be when it reaches the track for a race event. The process starts in design, where we use the NX CAD tools to develop initial concepts through schemes through to individual piece part models. From there, we will use some of the advanced simulation tools to perform analysis on those parts, make sure that they're strong enough to do the job that they're intended to do. Also, that we've made them as light as possible, that's always one of our challenges. From there, we take those parts into research and development, where we perform tests on those parts. And that would all depend on the class of part, where it's used in the car, as to how extensive that testing needs to be. 
All of that activity is underpinned with Team Center. So that activity is tracked using Team Center workflows. We take a use of advanced notifications to inform departments that those workflows are in progress. And from there, once we're happy with the design and the design's been released, then that moves into the manufacturing department. And that's where we use NX CAM extensively to program all of the NC machines that then go on to machine those components. Again, that's linked with our ERP system, which talks directly to Team Center so that we can perform the make or buy decisions and the buyers and the purchasing department can also use Team Center then to access lightweight data, 2D drawings, 3D models to help them do their job more efficiently. It's critical that there is that integration between trackside and factory and we have a large amount of data that we transport to and from um, you know, the racetrack back here to Milton Keynes and uh, a designer will follow his component all the way through to, to completion and seeing it uh, op in operation on the car and he can do that through the operations room that we have here. He can follow the telemetry live and see his design solution you know, working uh, on, on one of the two Grand Prix cars. Formula One is a very successful motorsport, but underneath that motorsport is a very highly sophisticated engineering and manufacturing capability. And the reason Siemens are involved with Infinity Red Bull Racing is for the provision of software and professional services to the team to allow them to have the best car development process they possibly can not just to give them the time on track, but also to give them the quality in their manufacturing to make sure the reliability on track helps them to continue to be successful with World Championships. The relationship with Siemens is very important for us. They've been there since the beginning, since we entered Formula One, and it's a, a relationship that's grown and as the company has grown. And uh, together with the, the, the skill set that Siemens PLM has and offers us technically, we're able to exploit that and utilize that in the design and operation and manufacture of our, of our race cars. The Siemens uh, partnership is a, is a critical one for us because it's an integral part of the design process that we, that we operate under and through the relationship with Siemens PLM, they're critical tools that we're using and that we're reliant upon to come up with creative design solutions to ensure that we have the best Grand Prix cars that we can possibly field. And, uh, they are in no small part a key contributor to our success over the last three or four years and those six world championships that we've achieved.